Coach Label, and Fall Boy Tony Coach Label there, which is the main official control of Coach uh, Stage Regular. Uh, the nice thing about the electronics, they monitor pressures and have them spray in here. The lab is constantly coating, so we're doing fine finish, we're spraying with fine finish tips. The monitor is a whole pressure well, so it's a nice pattern. Alright, let's run through a couple things on the pump. One, you got your on off switch, naturally, you got to turn the unit on, you got to plug it in. Um, all of the tight units, kind of hard to see, but all of the tight units have a weight to plug. So when you plug them in, you know you got power plug that machine. Okay. On off switch here, pressure control, prime valve. What's the prime valve for? When you set it in paint, it's got nothing in it, so you have to prime it. You've got to get the whole back, alright? You prime that. Good way to remember how the prime valve works. When the prime valve is down, it's in the bucket. You're priming it in the bucket. When you go to the wall, you flip it towards the wall. So that's a good way to remember, an easy way to remember where your prime valve is set. Down is in the bucket, flip it back and towards the wall, right? It's right towards the wall, okay? Um, I took the uh, cover plate off the 840, your 440, your 640, 540, 740, 840 all have the new um, oil reservoir built in to the unit. You know, the pumps in the old days, we had to take the piston lube and pour it down into the top of the piston. Now you have a reservoir built into the unit. So when this is on here, you get ready to leave the car and juice the pump. Now, I think Brian, some of these, some of you guys are probably possibly going to be rental stores. I think all of you guys will probably have a rental program. You already have one, Donnie, but um, Justin and Eric are going to designate a lot of stores that have a rental program at the store. So that's why you guys are all grouped together. What we want to talk about as far as rental is if you guys do get into the rental business, um, you know, things you want to look for, you need to take back to your full-timers and your other employees, is, is make sure that when the pump comes back, you've got all the stuff that goes with the pump. You know, you've got your gun and hose, you've got your tip on the gun, you've got your rock screen uh, that goes down in the bucket, you know, the foot filter that goes in the bottom. Um, and then ultimately, you're going to have to take the pump in the back and actually plug it in and check it out and make sure there's no pain. Okay? So that's one thing you need to do when you're going to When you get ready to get into rental, you'll run through all these procedures with the customer. We've got sheets over here we're going to hand out to you. And it's a checkout and a check-in sheet. So when you check it out to a customer, you'll go through all these steps. If you're not ready to go out, you know, the customer brings it back. Basically, reverse the steps and check it back in. Make sure everything's there and so forth. Okay. Now, if you come up here, I want y'all to get close to you and see this digital readout. Come up here. Come touch some. <laughs> All right. You won't blow anything out. Don't worry. <laughs> We've got our prime valve down. Just turn the unit off. Always make sure you put a wrench on your fittings. It all have to be tight. My hand tight. You got to put a wrench on. Okay. These units will generate 3,300 psi. So you don't want them to leak or anything like that. Um, faster dial. Okay. Pressure control, 0 to 3300 PSI. That determines how much pressure you put in on your paint. Uh, things you'll look for from a paint contractor, you might have heard uh, guys, you may have heard guys talk about having tail to this pattern. Have you heard that? How we talk about it? That is from low pressure. And I'll see you like that when we start to swirl. You'll actually see it. When you get ready to go over with your customer, you want to talk to them about make sure you go to pressure control, on-off switch, manifold filter, you got the gun, you got the tip and guard, okay? Other thing, every spray gun has a trigger lock on it. Always use that trigger lock. Okay? That way nobody shoots paint everywhere. <laughs> huh? Clear his eyes and light lighten up. Alright. What we're gonna do is we're gonna prime this unit. Right now we're priming. Down in the bucket. I like that. Priming. Pump the paint into the foot section so back into the bucket. Once we get a good prime, 
Best way you can tell. Come here, look in this bucket. See the water coming out of that too? Alright, watch this. Everybody look in the bucket. When the bubbles stop, when the bubbles stop, we got it right. You get it? When the bubbles stop, that means the color's dry. That means that the fluid sets is later or time. Okay? Bubbles will stop or we're going to Come over here, Phil. Look at the third time. Alright. Unit just stopped. Alright, we got two things here on the screen. We've got our set pressure, which is where it's actually set, and our actual pressure. Okay? Customers ask a couple things you need to know on here. This is also one of the 440. 440 doesn't have digital readout. But these lights are on the 440. What's nice about this is one, you've got the green light showing the blue light, the motor's running, the orange light. That's kind of a, a point where you're going to spray latex material. But well, what I mean by that is you're going to spray latex material about 2,000 psi. When I get to 2,000 psi, this light's going to turn green. Watch it. Right there. Okay? That's where you're going to need to be the property out of night latex material. So if you rent a pump or you sell a pump and a guy calls you and he's like, I'm not getting a good fan pattern, you can ask him, is the light orange or is the light green? If you know he's spraying super bait, duration, whatever the case may be, tell him to put that pressure up to that light kind of direction. Now, tips wear out, right? What's tip life? You can do 100 gallons, depending on the product. Right? So if the tip wears out, this light could go back to orange. Which means the pump's losing pressure. So he needs to put a new tip in there. Make sense? All right. Um, so now we've got our set pressure and our actual spray pressure. When you go over the pump with the customer, always stick the gun down into the bucket of water before you release the trigger. That way you don't blow it. Okay? Let's put our tip and guard on here. Yes, he is. Sorry, Greg. Live at five. You're getting filmed. Uh, this is a 517 tip. This is uh, Mike Nelson's request. Right, here we are spraying. Look at your pressure. The pressure controls are going to fluctuate probably around 50 to 100 psi. Okay? We're at 2080 set. We're spraying at 1968. So we're a little over, a little over 100 psi fluctuation. Okay? Stop reading your pressure. Are you nervous? Oh, that's where all this on YouTube. Yep. So talk about your pressure settings with your customers. You know, they're going to need to be over 2,000 PSI. Just tell them to take it to that light turns green. And that should give them a pretty easy path. If it doesn't, you can bump it up to the next Now, some things you want to learn on this screen. Because if you want that digital readout, there's a lot of features in here. You have a gallon counter. This is important for you guys that are renting. You can keep a perpetual log on every gallon that's gone through this pump. Alright? Rental pumps, you guys will rent them, they'll rent them for a week or two, they'll bring them back and say, you know what, I was only able to spray three days. You can scroll down. Now let's use this one. Come over here. All right, look right here. Gallons pumped. Select four. All right, I've had zero gallons. This is a brand new machine. We just hooked it up. So we, we basically had zero gallons. All right, your first uh, scroll down on the menu is going to give you the gallons pumped. What I would do, Brian, hand me one of those tablets over there. We've got these tablets, and you guys can take them back to the stores. What I would do is if you're going to get in the rental business, get to this menu here. Get to this menu here, and when you go through the checkout procedure for the customer, you write down the gallon. If that customer sees you write it down, there's going to be less half to bring it back and say, look, I wasn't able to 